hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about QVR Face. Now for those that were following this channel, the other channel, NAS Compares and more last year, you'll know that I talked about a lot of the new apps and developments that are happening with QNAP NAS. And one of them, the one that stood out the most for me last year at Computex, was QVR Face. It is a surveillance add-on, well it was at that time, um, to enable QVR Pro to add facial recognition. Now facial recognition, facial tagging, and triggered alerts based on human intervention uh, using AI analysis is something that we've been talking about in surveillance throughout 2019 and into 2020. Uh, one of the first big NAS brands to enter this field was, of course, Synology with their DVA3219. However, that being a remarkably expensive NAS and requiring a GPU card, a number of you were put off. Uh, QNAP, at the same time, even before the release of that Synology, did put out there uh, the beta for us to see, at least, but not play with, QVR face, the ability to recognize uh, people and have triggered events based on those people within our surveillance setups. It gives you the ability to either add an existing library of users to um, a record on your NAS and therefore when the cameras pick these people up in the surveillance settings it will either not trigger or it will trigger if it doesn't recognize those people. There's lots of other methods and means and things that you can do with this software and I will be doing a full software overview straight after this video. But what I want to show you today is how to install the beta yourself. So, the QVR face page is now live on QNAP and if you head over to the QNAP forum, the official QNAP NAS community forum, you can find the QVR face page right here and from here you can download the six or 700 meg installation file. It's worth highlighting that when QVR face is fully released, there are going to be two different versions. There is QVR face and, oh sorry, QVR face light and QVR face tiger, each of which have their own bespoke abilities, which we'll talk about in a future video. But what you need to do is click this link here and download the QVR face beta file from here. It's a QPKG file. Once you've got that downloaded and installed, you want to boot up your QNAP NAS, and it's worth recommending that you will need at least an Intel-powered NAS and 4 gig of memory. 8 gig is highly, is highly recommended, I should say. And from there, you need to go into your App Center, so like this, like so, and get ready to install a custom app. Now, perhaps at the time of this recording, it's not there at least. If you head down to the Beta Lab option, QVR face may have been added here, but at the moment it is not available. <coughs> so what we need to do is head up here to the installation, uh, the manual installation option, browse our NAS, or browse our local files. As you can see, there's QVR face there that I've already downloaded in advance, and that file is 666 meg, unlucky for some. We can double click there and we can click install. Now remember this is a beta application and should be treated thus. So if you are using a beta app, remember that it's not going to be running fully perfect. There's gonna be the odd hiccup along the way and this is mainly for demo and preview purposes. While it does this in the background, it's worth highlighting that prior to this, when I was first checking out the installation of QVR Face, it's worth highlighting that QVR Face is its own application at this time. At the moment, if you go into QVR Pro, as you can see here that I've already installed, both, this is the desktop uh, user interface from QVR Pro via the web browser, and if we look at the client application where I've set up two cameras in advance for my software test of QVR Pro, you, uh, of QVR Face, you can see right here that there are no options currently for QVR Face. And once the app is fully installed, as you can see here, we make our way back to the desktop and straight away if we go to my apps, we can see QVR Face here. And if we go to my desktop, there is QVR Face. If we refresh the surveillance app, we can have a look at our user interface of that. It will log us straight in. And from the surveillance platform, QVR Pro, we can see that although we've got event management, we can open that up and create rules and events based on the camera, uh, cameras we're using and our own bespoke surveillance needs. If we really want to interact with QVR Face, we have to go back to QTS via the web browser. Now QVR Face is available here, and if we click on that option, it will open up and give us 
just a little bit of warning there at the moment there is going to be data use consent this is a beta so don't be surprised the beta information just with regards to configuration and use may be collected of course it is a beta you should expect that click agree you then got to double check that you've got the recommended minimum specifications as you can see a minimum of four gig and eight gig being the recommended settings and making sure you've got a powerful enough cpu to take care of this app we click initialize and from here we can see that i have tried to install this in advance because i was just making sure that everything was, was going to run smooth in our installation so for now i'm just going to override everything i did earlier on click initialize and it will start installing qvr face once again as this happens here in the background let's talk a little about re uh, recommendations and if there are any limitations now I'm going to be double checking in my software overview about whether this application will let you only analyze new recordings or old but there are a bunch of other confirmed things that this app can do just head over to qvr-face slash en to learn more you can create complete groups and individual users that are facially recognized and support of things like usb cameras thanks to the usb cam application and more mean that you've got lots of means in which you can add individual cameras to your surveillance setup and your qbr face setup they give you a list of different scenarios where a user or business may take advantage of ai powered facial recognition and finally the difference between the versions now we are using qvr face tiger right now so this is the top tier version that we're going to be featuring in our software overview here but it's worth mentioning that the light version is a much more streamlined version of this app for example the maximum distance at which faces can be recognized differs between the applications if we move further down although they both recognize and can create events uh, uh, that are tailored to different scenarios for your um, end use it's worth highlighting that qbr face light does not identify age or gender it just recognizes faces but qbr face tiger with a little bit more oomph can do more we are dealing with a beta which is a trial and this trial lasts for three months if you do want to go for this when it's fully released it's worth highlighting that you will have access to a trial but there is a payment plan in place where if you want to use this application further you will need licenses above and beyond that we can see that although this device is going to be running this software at least does work on NASes that do not feature a graphics card which is incredibly interesting given that the only alternative to this right now is from Synology on only one of its entire NAS series and that is rigorously enforced that it needs a graphics card you can run this facial recognition software without a graphics card and given that the Intel Celeron in this 253B does not feature a graphics card but does have light embedded graphics all the way up to the i5 and the i3 of these NASes featuring embedded graphics too it seems that they've managed to get this facial recognition working with just embedded graphics and no graphics card obviously how much that is going to be utilizing of your system resources will make a big difference with regards to not utilizing a graphics card but as we can see QBR face is installed so let's click start and it's going to open this app for us and here we have our own window for accessing qvr face and here we are at the free trial option so from here i'm going to be activating this free trial license and we're going to be seeing exactly what qvr face can do for us but i'm going to wrap this video up here because now we've talked about how to install the beta my next video is going to be an overview of the beta and i strongly recommend you check that out but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video do stay tuned for part two of this series of videos and i'll see you guys next time